Hi, my friends, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Legacy Stacker. So today we're going to compare this 2021 American Gold Eagle with this 2021 Gold Buffalo. Let me know down in the comments, which gold coin do you prefer? Come for the coins and stay for the one ounce Gold Buffalo. But first, to the computer. Now, here at the SD Bullion website, today is Monday, April 29th, 2024. The silver spot price is $27.38. The gold spot price is $2,348, which gives us a gold to silver ratio of 85 to 1. Hi, my friends. As you can tell, I've made a decision to keep my identity anonymous on this channel for security reasons. Please feel free to participate in my million subscribers challenge by clicking on the subscribe button below. Do you really want to know who I am? If so, please click on the subscribe button below and when I reach 1 million subscribers, I will move from behind the camera to in front of the camera. That's my challenge to you. Subscribing to my channel won't cost a thing and most of all, thank you. Here's the disclaimer. The coins we'll be reviewing today are the American Silver Eagle and the American Gold Buffalo, both from 2021. The American Gold Eagle was first released by the United States Mint in 1986, after the Gold Bullion Coin Act of 1985 was signed by President Ronald Reagan. The American Gold Eagle one ounce coin contains one ounce of gold and the gold must come from sources within the United States. This coin is 22 karat gold as it is alloyed with silver and copper to produce a more wear resistant coin. The American Gold Eagle is minted at both the Philadelphia and West Point mints. In addition, sales of these coins from the US Mint are mandated, at least in part, to pay off the US national debt. Originally, even I didn't know that sales of US minted coins contribute to paying off the United States national debt. So with every gold coin you purchase, you're playing a small part in paying off the U.S. national debt. There are two types of American Gold Eagles. The Type 1 was minted from 1986 up until 2021. And the Type 2 began minting in the latter part of 2021 and continues until this day. This coin is the Type 1. The obverse features Lady Liberty, designed by Augustus St. Gaudens, featuring a torch in her right hand and an olive branch in her left hand. The Capitol building is also featured in the lower left area of the coin. And as we look at the reverse, we can see the coin features a male eagle carrying an olive branch, flying above the nest containing a female eagle and her baby eaglet. The reverse was designed by sculptor Miley Busick Frost and was engraved by Sherry Joseph Winter. Their initials are inscribed on the reverse of the coin here. You can see the MB and the JW there just underneath the eagle's nest. This one ounce version of the American Gold Eagle is 3.9 spine and bears a $50 denomination. There are also half ounce, quarter ounce, and one tenth troy ounce versions of this American Gold Eagle coin. So what was happening in the year 2021? The long awaited change in the reverse design of the American Silver Eagle and the American Gold Eagle occurred during that year. I'll leave a link right up here to my video which covers the American Gold Eagle Type 1 and Type 2. Millions of people in the United States lined up for vaccines as the world cautiously waited for the world to return to normal. In other news in 2021, the Capitol building was breached by protesters who felt the presidential election was unfairly tallied, resulting with one person, a protester, Ashley Babbitt, being shot and killed by security at the Capitol building. A 12-story condominium tower in Surfside, Florida crashed down in the middle of the night due to structural issues. After over 20 years, the United States pulled its troops out of Afghanistan, which was quickly taken over by the Taliban. The Summer Olympics were held in Tokyo, Japan in 2021, with Americans taking 113 medals, 39 of which were gold medals. 
The economy was plagued with unfilled job openings and a parade of unloaded freight ships waited outside ports due to the backlog of people to unload them, causing supply chain issues. Towards the end of the year, inflation began touching multi-decade highs and would rise to a 9% inflation rate early in the following year. The Dow Jones Industrial Average was right around 34,000 points in the year 2021, as compared to over 38,000 points today in 2024. Inflation in the year 2021 was 4.7%, as compared to our current 3.8% inflation rate we're seeing this year in 2024. The average price of a new car was $47,000 compared to our $48,000 today. And the price of a gallon of gasoline was just $2.87, as opposed to the $3.60 per gallon we're seeing this year in 2024. The average cost of a home was approximately $487,000 in 2021, when homes were at an all-time high, as compared to the $448,000 today. And the average rent was $1,800 per month in the year 2021, as compared to the $2,300 today in 2024. There were a number of movies that came out in the year 2021, such as No Time to Die, starring Daniel Craig, The Forgiven, starring Jessica Chastain and Ralph Fiennes, and The Little Things, starring Denzel Washington. You may have seen some of them. Hit songs such as Levitating by Dua Lipa, Positions by Ariana Grande, and Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo were popular that year. Let me know down in the comments, do you remember some of those things back in 2021? Hi, my friends. If you enjoyed the content of my channel and you're interested in collecting and stacking silver coins, you may want to check out my playlists on my Legacy Stacker channel. You can go to my Legacy Stacker homepage by clicking on the Legacy Stacker gold coin right here. Then at the homepage, you can click on the Playlists tab right here. As you can see, I've created over 15 playlists on my channel, so you can check out everything from my Morgan Silver Dollar collection, my constitutional playlist, or even my most recent or most popular videos. Also, some interesting topics such as my Millionaire series, Dividend Stocks, or even the Fun Shows playlists. Also, did you know you can subscribe to my channel just by clicking on this Legacy Stacker gold coin right here at the bottom right hand of the screen? How easy is that? The second coin we're going to review today is this one ounce American Gold Buffalo, minted at the West Point Mint. This is my very first one ounce American Gold Buffalo coin. My local coin shop ran out of one ounce American Gold Eagles, which happens from time to time, since my LCS only sells what he takes into the coin shop. The Presidential $1 Coin Act of 2005 mandated a one ounce 24 karat gold bullion coin with a face value of $50 which was signed by President George W. Bush at that time. This American Gold Buffalo has been minted from 2006 to the current date. The design of the obverse of the coin is a modified version of James Earl Fraser's design for the Indian head nickel, first issued way back in 1913. The design depicts a Native American, which is a mixture of three Indian chiefs from different American Indian tribes, Big Tree, Iron Tail, and Two Moons. The obverse also features the Liberty motto, the year of mintage, and the letter F for the last name of the designer, Frazier. And as we look at the reverse, the coin gets its name from the American bison on the reverse of the coin. The reverse also includes E Pluribus Unum, of many one, referring to how the states must act as one United States of America, as well as the In God We Trust motto, which has appeared on all gold coins since way back in 1908. This one ounce version of the American Gold Buffalo is four nines fine and also has a face value of $50. There are also half ounce, quarter ounce, and one tenth troy ounce versions of this American Gold Buffalo coin. If you would like to send me a letter, a sticker, or even silver or gold, my address is right here. And of course, in the description down below. Anything I receive, I will review on the channel as these items will be my most precious possessions. And I can promise you anything I receive, I will never sell. They will remain in my Legacy Stacker Forever collection. 
If you watch my channel, you know the bulk of my stack is in American Silver Eagles and American Gold Eagles. But today I bought my first American Gold Buffalo. So if we look at both coins side by side, you can see the difference in the gold color of the coin, with the American Eagle including some silver and copper to make it more wear resistant. As you know, I sold six of my American Gold Eagles late last year in order to pay off a piece of rental real estate. Lately, I've been able to buy back about three of those American Gold Eagles, and I'll continue to dollar cost average my way to my next full tube of American Gold Eagles. The American Gold Buffalo coin is 24 karat gold, so it's a softer gold than the American Gold Eagle coin. It's also slightly more of a yellow metal color than the American Gold Eagle. I have to say, I really love both designs. Let me know down in the comments which do you prefer, the American Gold Eagle or the American Gold Buffalo. And now for the gold coin that I picked up today at my local coin shop. Surprise! It's a one ounce American Gold Eagle proof from 1993, graded proof 69 by the NGC Grading Company. Now, I don't normally buy graded gold coins such as this one, but my LCS sold me this American Gold Eagle proof for the same price as I would have normally paid for a Bullion Strike American Gold Eagle. So that was pretty special. I don't normally buy proof gold American Eagles either, but since it was all he had, I was happy to buy this coin. It's, of course, of type one. And boy, it's a beautiful one ounce gold proof coin. Let me know down in the comments, do you think I should break this coin out of the slab or not? I'm not sure I can decide. I hope you've enjoyed the 2021 Bullion Strike American Gold Eagle, the 2021 American Gold Buffalo, and the 1993 American Gold Eagle Proof. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. And always remember, my friends, silver and gold, it's wealth you can hold in your hands.